And we're live. Hi. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Maria. And this is Full of Brick. You're still full of brick. You're full of brick. Okay. So today we're going to talk about, first we're just going to talk about our past two weeks. Two? Yeah, we missed last week because of uh, uh, Philly Brick Fest. Gosh, I can't even remember yesterday. And we'll get to Philly Brick Fest, of course. Okay. And then after that, after we talk about our two weeks, then we'll put the link in the description. People can jump in. We could do the crossover. Twerking if needed. No. And um, we talk about what everyone did this week in terms of Lego, any mocks you made, any purchases, any sets you built, things like that. And then after that, we'll talk about Lego news, the past two weeks of Lego news. Sound good? Sounds fantastic. So what happened this past two weeks? I don't even remember a week ago. I only remember Philly Brick Fest. Wasn't there a dance-a-thon? Didn't the boys do oh, a dance-a-thon? Oh, right. The boys did a dance-a-thon. It was to raise funds for their school. Isn't it always? And and I think there's so many sponsors and all that stuff that in the end, the boys also brought home, uh, I guess, they won through a raffle and Justin got a skateboard. Does he know what a skateboard? So he has a skateboard, but this is actually a lot bigger than his current skateboard. Oh. So it's almost like a grown-up skateboard. If there's a baby skateboard and a grown-up skateboard, he won a grown-up skateboard. He was asking me if he can get a helmet and elbow pads. and. I told him he just has to, like, tough it out. I never skateboarded, but I remember when you used to rollerblade. Back in the day before people ran, people actually rollerbladed for exercise. And so Maria had her wrist guards, her helmet, her elbow pads. You don't want to roughen up the skin, like baby. Like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Just I was cute. So she wouldn't get hurt or injured. Okay. So, and uh, Mason won a soccer ball, which is fitting because I can't find the soccer balls that we have. And Mason loves soccer. How was, how was uh, his, oh, not soccer, how was his um, hockey? hockey today? He's really good, or maybe I'm partial because I'm his mother, but I think he's really good. Like, I feel like he's athletically inclined, but he's still uh, pushing for more soccer. So when are you going to take your son out to play soccer, huh? the way you did with your firstborn? Oh. Like, with his firstborn, he went out, he went to, like, the sports store, got a bunch of pylons, got, like, a net, got, like, a, a soccer ball. He goes, come on, son, let's go to the wild field out there and let's kick some ball around. That's well, when I was... First son, that's when I was young. That was when I was in my 20s. The first son did not like to play soccer. He wanted to look at weeds and dandelions. He wanted to look at the airplane. What do you like to do with weed? He likes to look at the weed. Oh, okay. Okay. So anyways, back to the son who wants to play soccer. So he got a soccer ball. So that was a dance fun. They said they danced, danced, danced. So they were danced out. That was cool. None of us witnessed it. And then you had a date with your mom. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Actually, I do want to take her for another date night, but I've been under the weather lately. Man, we brought some bug home from Philly Brick Fast. I feel like this week has been a blur. Yeah. Gray. I don't even know who I am anymore. But yes, I did take my mom to see a movie. To see a movie. What did we see now? Not Age of Ultron. No, that just came out yesterday. The boys want to see that. Are there plans to see Age of Ultron this weekend? Like tonight. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It might be busy. So? I think it might be busy. It's all about the busy. Uh, no, what did I say with my mom? We want to see the age of Adeline. Ah, uh, you can see that. I know. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh, no, we saw, uh, oh, 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 we saw the woman in gold. I can see that. Yeah, we already saw the woman in gold. That was my date night movie. And my mom liked it. My mom is more to like Jackie Chan, fat, uh, action movies, but uh, she really enjoyed it. And then after that. Oh, what about, um. Your passport, didn't she have to go? Uh, that's not the Philly breakfast. But I guess I could go through that. So with passports, we just needed to renew it. Myself and Mason's, ours actually expired. Ours expire, uh, mine expires in July. Mason's expire in August. But we tend to go over the border frequently enough that I don't want to be without it. Um, I actually, I don't know, usually get it six months before things expire. But the new rules now are renewal of passport. It's a 10-year passport. So I look like this for the next 10 years. What was it before? Five uh, years? Every five years. Okay. So the 10 is that how years, it, it is in the States? I have no idea. A girl in her bricks doesn't even have a passport, she was saying. A number of people don't have passports. Yeah. But uh, we didn't actually cross the border to the U.S. with just a child birth certificate up until they're 16 years old. But I like having passports for my kids. Uh, because when you fly, you need a passport. If you just drive over the border, you don't need a passport, you just need a birth certificate. But we are going to fly somewhere later this year. So Mason's was supposed to be renewed with mine, but I forgot to get his little picture 
signed by the guarantor, who is a friend of mine, because for adults, you don't need your picture signed. But for little kids, apparently, the guarantor has to say, yeah, yeah, I know the kid, the kid belongs to her. I didn't know that. So I had to go and line up again. It took me an hour just to uh, get all that sorted. And, I, and it's $150. Hundred fifty dollars for the renewal for a ten year passport for kids. It's fifty seven dollars, but the kids, it's renewed every five years or three years. Wow! Yeah, it's pretty hefty, so we have to use it. Just well, to do next year. Another weird thing that happened was the change rooms at the gym switched. Switched, and this is again post Philly Brick Fest. Uh, so we go to Lifetime Gym, and see, this at least gives you the opportunity to uh, appreciate how far I have to walk just to get to the change room. I don't like the girls' change room. I like the men's change the room. The mystery of a girls' change room is always, oh, it's a girls' change room. But it's like amazing. It's so skinny. The men's change room is lovely. It's nice. It's big. It's wide. It's like a square. The girls' change room smells there's, like perfume. There's those places, though, like in the washroom part, in the toilet part, where you have to pee standing up, and none of us were really um, keen on doing that yet. Yeah, there weren't any urinals in the girls' change room, just a lot of but stalls. But so many stalls. There's only three stalls in the men's change room. Really don't you guys poop? So when are they switching back? Uh, they said two more weeks. So two I weeks. am liking the men's change room. Although, I have to say, the area that I like to change in the men's change room, I think a clump of us like it too. So I have to find another area where not. I'm not clumpy. I hate clumps. Okay. Okay. And then there was Philly Breakfast. Fine. Uh, let's do it. So let's talk about Philly Can you first. believe it's already been a week ago? Like this is Saturday. Today is Saturday, and technically that was our second last day already for the breakfast. So we left Where's on it? Thursday, Thursday morning. 4 a.m. Although somebody was so excited, he was already showered, shaved, and hair blown. This doesn't come naturally. 4 a.m. By 3 a.m. I heard it. I was like, oh my god, the alarm is supposed to ring at 3 a.m. And somebody was already ready. Well, I have to pack everything in, and so. Maria was able to give me one of her Sterilite um, Tupperware Container, bins, containers, take my purses. And the flat one. So that's where I was able to store all the micro bills. And then I grabbed one of uh, Tristan and Mason's toy bins. I dumped it into a different bag, could be a garbage bag. And then I filled that up with um, Ducky Momo over there, a so bunch of Mason, I mean, Tristan's mocks. Compared to a lot of people who brought like these excessively humongous, amazingly mind blowing mocks, we traveled pretty light with respect to mocks. Ours was small potatoes. Yeah, to very else. small potatoes. Bricks for Chris. Amazing. Brought a huge, well, he drove his dad's huge truck to it's like a spaceship. And, and he, I think he said it was like 17 hours or 17 hours. 17 hours from Tennessee. And eight tables. And you should see, this is so elaborate. Like, it's so amazing. He, he actually built. The tables at the yeah. brick fest. So eight tables, and behind the scene, it's all like drilled, like by with two by fours, or I don't know, I don't know how things go. Oh, look in the comments. We have Metro's Musings hey. in the comments. We have TMX Brick Notes. Hello. Can you we believe have... it's just already been a week since we saw each other? Brian Pennebaker in the comments. Cave Bricks, Northern Bricks, and No More Bricks. Awesome. And I have put the link now in the description. We're talking about Philly Breakfast. If anyone wants to come in and ask any questions while we're talking about this topic. Philly Breakfast. Philly oh, Breakfast. These are the these shirts are that you get shirts. when you build something. So yeah. if you brought if you built something and displayed it at Philly Breakfast, they threw in these shirts in your goodie bag. So we left at 4 a.m., 4.02 in the morning. I like to be pretty precise. And we got to the border roughly under an hour. Yes. I think I was doing it like at 140 kilometers. What's that? I don't know, in miles. I can't do the math right now. 65? No, more. Mm. A lot. But nobody caught us. I love driving in the dark. And all the boys were asleep. Anyways, it was magical. And then we get to the border, and the border cross guards like, where are you guys going? I'm like, Philadelphia. He's like, why are you guys going there? Lego convention. And... They don't, know, based, they don't know yeah. what to say. It's just like, okay, like it's, it's like everybody goes to the Lego convention. These are weirdos. Mm, no. So anyways, we get there and uh, I don't know, something about any any travels, right? The first day, the anticipation, you're always so excited that time just goes by this quickly. Like that eight hour drive, done. Versus coming back and it's just like painful. Well, when we were approaching the convention center, you were like, oh, it's it's that? Cause it just looked like I don't know, like an arena or something. Well, it was kind of like in the middle of quieter <laughs> Philadelphia, Oaks, Pennsylvania. Oaks, Pennsylvania. So it's actually pretty close to the Mall of Prussia. We went to uh, Philadelphia two years ago to do a race, but we stayed right downtown. We didn't even get to go to Philadelphia this time around. No. We tried to go to the Franklin Institute to look at Art of Brick. That 
didn't happen. The highway was closed. Turnpike closed. Or some people are really trying hard to get through, and I just don't have patience for traffic like that. So, um, but yeah, it was actually very well situated. Our hotel was nice and spacious. What was the name of the hotel? Homewood Suites. Homewood Suites. So, the Philly Breakfast peeps, they were able to do some linkages, and uh, we were able to get a really good deal with Homewood Suites. It's about five kilometers away, so, and very close to like Walmart and other eateries that, uh, Conveniently located. So we got to the venue and we parked. We walked in. But we didn't know where it was because it doesn't say Hall A or Hall B or Hall C. Well, or we, maybe. Parked, we parked where all the cars were. In our excitement, we and didn't. So we walked really. in and we didn't see any legal. We just saw a lot of older people with. It was their own convention, but we, we don't even know what it, the convention it was. It was like about. a design convention. So, the, so we're all We okay. used the bathroom we in the Hall the E. So Tristan, Mason, and I were just kept on walking, trying to find the entrance. And then Mason, or Tristan, was able to find the back entrance. So we entered through there. And I was already driving the van from where we were parked. I'm like, oh my god, how did they walk so fast? Because he does not walk fast at all. Anyhow, they did find out. And we were first approached by Clutch. (gasps) And he said, hey! Well, no, that would be Martin. He said, hey, it's the brick adjuster. I didn't didn't even know this. No, you were still parking. And so Clutch um, introduced himself to the boys and everything. Really nice guy. He mm-hmm. showed us where the red tent was, where we got to pick up our goodie bags. And, Very cool bags. And then um, Carrie, Chad's wife, was yes. the one who was kind of Very welcoming, us very uh, warm. That's when Maria came in. And we just chatted up. I, I, I just can't believe like the amount of work that they do to put together something like this. And you dedicate your life to it right like this is their new role their new job it's just i i can't imagine leaving my profession to say okay let me do this for like it's amazing i'm baffled uh before we continue let's just look in the comments the brick wizard is here and he says that our lives just got better because of the shirt i wonder how did you do on your oh yes your your book uh, book. wait and then uh, cover of it TMX Brick Note says that it's hard to believe it's been a week. I know. It was a blast. And my display was not small potatoes. Thanks. I guess it wasn't small potatoes. Well, it is, my, it is a micro. No. It's like a, and it's Northern a Brick says, TMX, did it, cost, uh, did it cost you to be at, or how much did it cost you to be at the Brick, the brick Fair? And TMX said, a fault for the four days, $40. Amazing deal. Yes. That was the early bird special. Yes. Early bird special was $40. Regular price so how, is seventy five dollars. How far ago did I buy this? Like a few months, like three, four months ago. Because I when I remember. just checked a few weeks before the actual day, it was up to seventy five dollars for the four day event. Which you know, in retrospect, isn't even a lot. I feel because we have Fan Expo here every single summer in Toronto, and for the two day or three day, no, it's also four day. It's up to two hundred dollars. Mind yeah. you, I don't want to give you any ideas. Up the prices because forty dollars is doable, and yeah. but you know I, I can see them actually upping the prices right as time goes and um, popularity gains. Yes, that's definitely got our money's worth. Yes, but uh, a day pass to the Philly Brick Fest is twenty two dollars for anyone three years old and above. That's so, for the Saturday or the Sunday. And open to public open to the public who gets to just look at all the displays, not really participate and there are in vendors, the games. And there's vendors, but yeah, that said, the four day uh, event was phenomenal. Like, there were events for us, even through the evenings. We had glow in the dark bowling, which I didn't partake next year. It's my turn. And you're staying with the kids next year. And what else did they have? Oh, I did go to the live stream. The, 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 um, we'll get there. We'll get oh, there. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, um, the first game that I saw and not participate in was the horizontal building challenge. I missed that. I missed the beginning because I was busy setting up my display. But when I got there, I saw Bubble Bricks was participating, Cookie and Cookie Bricks was uh, participating. And what this game was, was there was a horizontal wall, so a wall of, I guess, a base plate. And you had a vertical wall, and you had, base, you had um, two by four bricks, and you had to make a tower horizontally on the wall. And so Mad Stacker was there with his measuring tape. Afterwards, measuring the how length. long you can go. So it was like eleven inches, seven inches, like a subway. Bubble bricks and didn't do too well. However, Cookies bricks made it to the final, and he just lost out just by a little bit. He got a little greedy, put one more brick on, and then it fell. Oh. 
So I think the winner of that got a big set. I can't remember what the set is now, but he got a good set, the winner of that. I wouldn't even know there were like prizes like this. Yeah. I had no idea. I just thought, oh, this is fine. We get to like build Lego. That was enough of a prize. To and we did miss we did miss another game because we got there at one o'clock, but Kelly and Bubba were telling me that they played a game called um Is It Lego? And it was um it was like a trivia game. <clears throat> okay. Where there were um I guess questions and then they had to write it in on a piece of paper whether this was Lego or this that was Lego. I'm guessing some might might have been like Mega Blocks or yeah. something. Yeah. And so they came in second place for that. And oh, they got that's good. Both of them tied for second place. Yes. Uh, hey, a girl in her bricks. Um, and then what was the first event that we actually participated so in? So first event we participated in was the fire walk. Already, like right in the afternoon, broad daylight. Okay, these two by four bricks, they're lethal. So a fi the fire walk is a big tub, a tub. huge tub. It's like a pool. It's like okay, a kid pool. A pool. A big like pool. Like a sophisticatedly big kiddie pool. Filled with? Two by four. Such told me there were a hundred, one hundred thousand two by four bricks, red two by four bricks in this tub. A cesspool of germs because they think that's what got us sick. And hey, Hedy, hey, Hedy, Norlander. And uh, how many do you think started? Were like forty of us? There was a lot. So we didn't, they didn't know how to really organize us. So initially it was like we were in one big long loopy line, and you go in, and it's like a Congo line, and then you go out, and then the next person go. But because it's so long, not everybody really is in the pool. Tristan, Mason, and, and there Maria was no were music. The so I really hope next year they're gonna have it more musically. Like I was having Fireball play in my phone, and I was doing ta 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 ta. But nobody was singing with me. I don't know. Maybe it was everybody was shy. So basically, the rules for this was the last person because it hurts. It hurts stepping on hurts. these on these bricks and, and your socks. You know, we're trying to think of like what's a good strategy. Do we shuffle? But then if they notice that you're shuffling, the I, people, was, I was shuffling at the beginning. For the people were like, we need to see your knees up. We need to see your knees up, and they made you do things like jumping jacks, jumping jacks, and all that stuff. Anyhow. We have the winner of the uh, first one hour job. and thirty minutes in there. And you were uh, the last three were you, Chris from Bricks for Chris and, and Beatrice Beatrice. Bricks. So what they were also I doing been Beatrice Bricks. What what they were also <laughs> doing was trying to entice people to jump out of the pit early. So they're showing different yes. sets. Oh my god, they even showed like a retired Harry Potter set. I'm like, no, get out already. But no. It was a it was an old Hogwarts. But it was yeah, it was a boring one. If it was Diagon Alley, I would have pushed on there. And um, hey, girl in your bricks, and um, Chris uh, Bricks for Chris and Beatrice Bricks both jumped out for the sock with camel, which we don't have actually. It's a retired set, it's it's an airplane, yeah, green, green. And so, I was able to get the Parisian restaurant, which I really like. So, so good job, yeah, that was, it's a nice, it's a nice set. It's um, it's over 2,400 pieces, it's all about the numbers. So I don't know if I'm going to do like a bricks for Chris and make it bigger with the Parisian restaurant. Well, you can do a stop motion. No, this is your, no. Did you do a stop motion with this one? I didn't do a stop motion for you this You weren't into stop motions yet. No. So that's we have it. a review, but and it was like maybe our second or third review, so it's no, kind of. Oh, we weren't even this perky, it was, it were was we? Back when it, was it was like, no, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. And um, so we got that. Um, afterwards, my feet, well, when I stepped out of the pit, it felt like I was stepping on pillows. Yeah, the ground was so after. nice. I learned for maybe that. about just 25 minutes. I was holding him. 25 Hayden, minutes. Tristan and the little and boys just, they were ADD. They were like out of there. Yeah, Tristan and Mason lasted. We're like, seriously, long. we have like a huge like. And then they here. started being like booby traps. They were, they went inside, they started throwing yes, bricks at everyone. they would shovel. I actually have a bruise on my shin because I hit the shovel. Oh, did you? Or the shovel hit me. Why are they trying to booby trap their own family? Yeah. Yeah. Is that because we keep them in cages at the end of the So day? I don't know if you guys saw Instagram, but Bricks for Chris posted a picture of his feet. Yeah, all bruised. Event, all these welts on his feet I think feet we just can't. We can't see the bruises. But I felt like I had, I just did a marathon. Yeah, it was like, pretty bad. I felt bad. like some plantar fasciitis going bad. on on my feet. So after this, but we were very happy with the Parisian restaurant. I was more than okay to go back home. But I'm like, oh my God, this is just the first, like, two hours that we've been there. The next event that we did was the derby, the race car derby. Yeah, so I and didn't so I missed this. Where you missed I? this one too. I don't know where you maybe you were with because I, I socialized. Because I had Hayden. I mean I had Mason and Tristan with me. I had Hayden. We were changing a diaper. So what we had to do, there were four different lanes of or well, four different sections of four laned tracks on a ramp going downward and at the bottom was um digital clock. And so they gave us these weighted 
um, lead, brick. lead bricks with wheels on them. And we had 20 minutes to make a car, a race car. Yes. So my strategy was just to make the heaviest car because I figured if it went down the ramp. F equals MA, people. F equals MA. Force equals mass times acceleration. And so if it goes down, the heaviest car would win. So I just made like a big block car. I just had my um, my weighted. <laughs> and then it, it's like I a was big just, rectangle. It was just a big rectangle. <laughs> There but, was no air in it. But I won my heat. Okay, yay! So I won my heat. And so did Mason. Mason won his heat. Every, and... every winner of the heat got a uh, prize, and that was a Lego movie, um, Bad Cops Pursuit. With lots of alligators. So I thought, oh my god, this this festival is like super generous, or we can go home. But we didn't. It was just the first four hours that we're there. And then, um, in the so then all the winners of each heat were raced in the finals. Bricks for Chris also won his heat. It's funny how all of us won our, were, uh, we were all working at the same table and we all entered different lanes and we all won our heat. Maybe you're looking at like, hey, what kind of big rectangle are you making? Oh, well, Bricks for Chris had a cool looking car. Mine was just a block. <laughs> so we raced, all four of us raced in the finals. There was another kid, I'm not, he wasn't part of YouTube, so I don't know his name. Bricks for Chris won. He beat me by 0. 0.001 seconds. One one thousandth of a second. It's crazy. And what did he get? He a got. Set. He got. Um, it was from Galaxy Squad. It was the, with the red. Oh right. It was the, the fly. The vermin. It was a big fly on there. Yeah, big fly. But we re-raced afterwards just for fun. Just for fun. And I was able. A big blob. I was able to beat him on the second race on, on a different track. So I don't just know. Just for fun. We raced. It, for it fun. didn't count though. No, no. I on Instagram, know. there might be a picture of all four cars. Oh, Cookie. Cookie was also there. Oh. Okay. I think Cookie had a had a had a win too. Yeah, yes. no, it was Cookie. It wasn't. It wasn't another YouTuber. It was Cookie. Cookie. Um, because I remember the, the the picture on Instagram. It was the four of us. So that was pretty cool. Next, there was uh, oh, there were also games called um, Polymox and Combo Mox. Yes, yeah, so that was cool. I didn't know again what uh, was in store for that, but with uh, Combo Mox. Basically, Clutch Chris brought in like these big bags, and at this point, our boys were just helping out the team there. They're like, they are just like inseparable with either Chris or with um, Mad Stacker. Mad Stacker. Where's the Mad Stacker? They had all these cool scooters everywhere. So yes, the boys definitely had a ton of fun, but they were just trailing Chris like he he owned Lego. It was like his shadow. Yes, they're like, oh my god, where are you going? We're going for more Lego. He so, was he was the the Pied Piper. I Piper. I would lovingly give my kids over. Anyways, so he brings these big bags, the Philly Brick Fest uh, uh, grab bags, and they were full, full, full with Lego. And there's like they were packages. full. They were full of those numbered bags. Yeah, so packets. And what Economy you have to sets. do with a combo uh, combo box, combo box, is to select two, three, 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 yeah, and create a combo uh, mock in thirty minutes. And then it was like twenty minutes. Okay, twenty. And then people vote. So everyone who participated got to vote on the winning mock. Yes, it and then the winner, there's no theme. There's the no theme. winner gets gets a, another yeah. big set. Yes. However, everyone who participated got to keep I all know. their parts. And here I was, like you know, trying to like clean up after my boys, trying to give it back to Clutch, and it's like, oh, no, 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 you can keep it. You keep We're it. like, what? Then can I get this whole bag? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I got three bags. Mason got three bags. Tristan got three bags. I don't know why I didn't play. And so if if Maria would have played out oh, so next year, you, you play play all the games. It's because of that baby. So whenever if you guys go to Philly Breakfast, participate in all the games. One thing it's fun. One thing you get to build later. Souvenirs. You also get a lot of souvenirs, which basically pays for now, the trip. Now, see, I feel like we're saying all this thing. They might change the rules. Like, they might change so, the rules. This could be just from our previous experience. They might change the rules. but Changing the rules. It doesn't hurt to play. You're just going to sanitize the bricks next year and reuse it. There's no fun in just watching. Uh, you guys are watching us, but I don't know. <laughs> and then Polymox is the same thing. Polymox hey, is, you? Hey, no more bricks. So Polymox is the same thing. You pick up two. Polymox, same thing, but you poly pick bag. up two poly bags and then combo them. So different poly bags there. There were the the Batman wing, the X wing, uh, Batwing. There the was witch, the green the witch, witch, the head of the witch. There were the Chima wing. ones. There yeah. was friends. Basically, all the ones that whenever you see the videos of Clutch and Dan going to different Walmart or going to different Targets after a holiday, hashtag all the bags. Grabbing all the bags. These are what they're using these poly bags for. These games for us. 
mystery solved. And that was cool. Yeah. So we got home and then I'm like, okay, and like I really have to feed your kids. I mean, they're like, you know, hungry. So he's like, okay, just leave me here. I'm going to play with Lego. So I drive to the hotel for dinner because dinner is actually with the hotel from uh, Monday to Thursday, which was great. I didn't have to like look around for anywhere else to feed my people. And then I get to the parking lot and lo and behold, who gets out of the car across from us? Oh, me. Because his people are the, not hungry. The, they're, they're, they're hungry too, but he was more than okay to start for Lego. It's because we were supposed to do a speed build for the Mini Cooper. But hunger wins. Cause like, but hunger. then everyone wanted to do everyone wanted to do the um, wanted to eat instead. Because eating is so important. And because it was free dinner at the hotel on Thursday. Now, I don't know where the lobster is, but there was no lobster in Bubba Bricks. What was the free dinner? It was... Meatball. No, oh, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Delish. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry yes. about this, but I can't take any requests right now. Please try again in a little while. That sounds like Tom Tom. Or who is that? Um, so who do we have there? We, I know we have no more bricks. And? Yeah, my camera's not working. <laughs> Hey, Harold. Hey. Are you at work? No, I'm not. <laughs> That's why I'm working. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm out. Okay, let's look at the comments before we continue. We have uh, bricks all over is in the comments. Um, Addie Norlander says, TMX, I just saw that Kelly has a TMX-related video on her channel without thumbnail. What? Oh, girl in her bricks. Yeah, that happened mocks to you. With no two thumbnail. sets. Poly mocks were numbered bags. Yes. The other way. So no, definitely poly next year I'm gonna. Have to, although I feel like you know I am not the biggest mocker here in the house. Every time I buy pick a bricks, I'm always thinking about what these people actually use. A, so I don't have to buy like specific sets for specific pieces that they need. AKA the little eyeballs from the mixels, like Tristan and Mason are like, we need like the mixel packages because we need the eyes. So actually, it's definitely a. Philly Lego store, I was able to get a whole lot of eyes to put in a... Went with Extreme Brick. Yeah, oh my gosh, he was extreme with his pick-a-brick, like, shopping. So here's Did the story... Did you see me at Fifth Avenue? That was him in the Lego store. Here's the story behind this. I think it was on the, on the set, Saturday? Sunday. On the, the last Sunday. Day. The last day. We got so excited. We were there. I know. All like, of a sudden... Going forward. All of a sudden, there's an Instagram photo of Bricks for Chris. And this was after the morning toss, so we're like, where did Chris go? Yeah, we're looking, where, 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 where did Bricks for Chris go? And there's an Instagram photo of him at Walmart with all the new these Simpsons. Simpsons to minifigures. And we're like, what? Extreme Bricks, and I went, what? Because if there is a PhD in shopping, it is me. They make, I shop. So, we're like, we gotta go, we gotta like find this Walmart. We didn't even know where this Walmart was, but there is a Target right near the convention center, and there's a Walmart right near a hotel. So, you know, without me, without, I don't know, um, Extreme Bricks is like, I don't know, 15 years old? <laughs> I didn't even like go, are you allowed to go in the car with me, young man? Because really, I should. But I'm like, no, let's go. Let's go find this Lego Simpson. <laughs> kind of dawned into my head later you when I'm driving. I'm like, oh my it. God, if you we die, fun. I'm in big trouble. And all my insurance money is going to go into his family because we're in the U.S. and they sue people for stuff like that. You didn't get him to sign the permission. Did I? No, I have permission slips coming out of the Wahoo. I never give a, draw, a ride to my to my friend's kids. I'm like, mm, I don't know if your mom's going to let me. <laughs> well, he is a lot taller than you. He is a lot taller than me. He's a lot taller than me, too. A lot taller than me. Actually, did you guys see a picture of me in TMX? No. Oh, that was just that on YouTube. The, the live stream. <laughs> that was very short. There was a, on the live stream, if you check out the live stream last week, there's a picture of TMX. Well, there's a shot of TMX and... Um, I have my hand all the way up, right? Because this is like a wingspan. He didn't even touch his head. I'm not even like anywhere near his shoulder. Armpit. Hey, Zany. Nope, no twerking yet. No. Still waiting for the crossover. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, Extreme Bricks and I, we like go to the Target. We're like running like it's a marathon because it's not exciting <laughs> looking for some some uh, Lego that's not supposed to be released until yesterday. Yes, we already have the Simpsons right now. And we we're like, not, it's not there. We're like, where, where do you think Chris is? So we like actually rushed to Walmart. And, you know, in this craziness, we actually found ourselves at Mall of Prussia because there's another Walmart there. <laughs> Walmart. We even went to Toys R Us. They were like, where the hell did he get it? And I'm like texting Nick, who doesn't pay attention to the text? I'm like, where did Chris go? And uh, apparently they didn't sell it to Chris. Uh, when Chris brought those Simpsons poly bags um, packs to the cashier, it says not to be released until 0501. Yes. And they actually refused to sell it to him, which is a wrongness, I think, because if it's but... on your house, 
It should go with the customer. It was their fault for fault. You know. Walmart. Pay attention. But yeah, we didn't find it. Anyway, we get to Mall of Prussia, we get to the Lego store, and Extreme was like, oh my god, there's a Lego store here. He doesn't even, he doesn't even see where I am anymore. He doesn't even care if he has the right back to the He went straight, and then he goes to the pick The first thing was like, man, this is smaller than what we're used to. We actually did. And uh, we go to the very back, the pick a brick store, and his eyes just went, <laughs> it was nuts. And then he's like, I have never seen such amazing elements. The very first thing is, look at these yellow cheese elements. The cheesy wedge elements. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> he's like, and then he like looks to the people and he's like, okay, so if I have five dollars, can I buy two large and one small? They're like, yes, that would be forty two ninety five. He's like, yes, I have forty five dollars. Because the whole time I was like, oh my god, I'm going to put this boy's belt because he was already like taking all these cups out. And because he was so like inspiring, I'm like, I want to buy a cup too. So you started filling up your cup. So I started filling up my cup, and I always get like a bunch of like little things because there was fits the back. Like I just don't have duct tape. Well, you got a bunch back. of things for a micro city. That would be That's cool. what I'm thinking. See, what I'm thinking of. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, we got out of the Lego store alive with no Simpsons and. Uh, yeah, that's the story. Okay, Sunday. Another game we played was <laughs> back on Thursday. Late, well, this no. was Friday. Oh, did, did we go on Thursday night? Or we were so exhausted because technically we would have not been sleeping for a whole 12 hours, 18 hours. Well, for Friday morning were basically the same games as. <coughs> so we only got better. But then um, I Friday afternoon oh. was. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Remember, Friday was when I kind of won the firewalk. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't take my so, second, but Maria, I didn't win the firewalk. Maria participated in the second. All of those padded socks. <laughs> it's so exciting because I am so, like I said, kind of like ADD. Maybe that's why I don't participate in these. Like, well, here's because the thing. Huh? I feel confined in the convention center. I'm like, I need to go to a mall. The second firewalk was supposed to start at 11 a.m. Maria went to the mall at, what, 9? You yeah, when it nine? opened. It's like, yeah, the mall should be open by now. So I go to the mall of Prussia thinking, I can do this in an hour. The whole time I'm getting it. Are you going to be back in the convention? No, he didn't want to put the business back. My feet are not the first day. Someone's echo. Someone's echo. Okay. Oh, so, like, literally, it was like the scene of a movie because he's like, are you here now? I'm like, yep, I'm here now. And I literally jumped out of my car. I, like, Parked the car right at the entrance where they had the double doors to open into the convention center. The illegal double doors where the, the play area is. And I literally left the car stalling. Nick comes in and drives it away because the baby's sleeping in the car because you shouldn't be leaving babies in cars. No. And I walk and I race right in, take off my jacket, and go into the the vats of red bricks as they were starting. And, they and no, nobody even said, hey, red you were late by 50 seconds, young lady. Young lady. No, nobody said that. I was like, hey, I'm here. Da, 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 And how did you do? So I didn't last as long as one hour and 30 minutes. It was no. very painful. Was I lasted the prize? 50. Was the... the prize this time was the catch up. And I was uh, there. Final five. Final five. And Extreme Bricks was in it. And also, Brick Revolution, I had the money on him. He was like juggling people. This doesn't hurt at all. It's like water. It's like water. And the whole time, the people were like, oh, my God, kill me. No, they were not. They, The organizers were not as uh, givey as the previous day with like Seth. They weren't like, look, it's that rare Harry Potter set that you wanted. Jump for it now. You're kidding, polybags. I would. They were like, here is a Duplo polybag. <laughs> Duplo. No one was party for Duke. No. Did you say extreme and break revolution? Yeah. Yeah, we were part of the final five and then two other people. Why can't I remember them? One one was a little tiny girl, and honestly, I have my money on her because you know if you have zero BMI If you're lighter. You should be able to do this for like hours. You could you're like practically floating on bricks. Anyhow. I got a... And then they kept on throwing another Duplo poly bag to fuel. We're like, you know, bring out that big set and we will jump out of here. <laughs> At the Death Star. Was that the night before or that same night? Oh, that was the night. Okay, we'll talk about that. Well, after. No, yeah. Anyhow, and then they, they brought out uh, four poly bags, and then they put four poly bags in. And we're like, no, no deal, because who jumps for poly bags? But then I was thinking, they really were not bringing up any sets at all. And my head was like, oh my god, it's either I really have to win this or like leave with nothing, and I cannot leave with nothing. <laughs> 
It's just wrong to leave with nothing. If somebody left with something, I'm not telling you with nothing to do. So, I think maybe the Lego gods go, Ooh, hurry up. And uh, I think it was Dan. He came in and said, how about this? And it was the Shima set, because you can see Shima. He's like, it was actually like, he was holding his arm around. Like, it's Shima. But none of us were like, no, 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 we, we're not going to go down for Shima. We're not, because we want the sets from the previous day. Give me another soft camel. Give me another... Anything. Yeah. You guys we, were, we, were, we were getting greedy. And then they're like, okay, we want to get this when you have five. Literally, you're just going around and around and around the school. You weren't going off or outside or anything. And you had to bring your feet up. And they want us to like walk faster. And they're making us. <clears> like, <throat> basically, your phone was on like all the time. Right I only lasted for 45 minutes. They actually lasted for close to two hours. Oh, dear. Yeah. So, ultimately, you know, they're like, okay, fine. No more. You guys get nothing. You guys have to suffer through this room. <laughs> Duplo poly bag, everything, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I will go in for a Duplo poly bag. <laughs> my brain was saying that. And then I think ten minutes later, they dropped everything in it. The, the big box of Chima was well, not big, but it's bigger than the the movie movie Lego movie set. And the four poly bags, and I was out of there like a hot cake, like a hot cake. Like a hot cake. So out, but at least I got something because the same as the other people didn't get anything. So it was very painful. When there were two left, when there was Extreme Bricks and Brick Revolution left, how they actually figured out the winner was there was some sort of bricks. It was oh that's brick case. Oh hey, my brick case. Well, that's weird. <laughs> no, you had to chase each other around the school, and the person who tagged the other person wins, and it's so painful. My finger legs. Honestly, it was so painful. My fingers were going down. My fingers that aren't even touching Lego. Brick <laughs> uh, Revolution was the winner. Yes. He got the pet shop. However, Extreme Bricks got I know, the pet shop. I know. They didn't take it up early enough. What did he get? He got the Santa. Santa the Wolf. And another one. The, uh, the, it's another winter set. Called uh, Market? Yeah, Winter Market. So both of those sets come back. So I think it's almost like a first place. Who's oh, scratching? Who's scratching there? I'm gonna meet someone who's scratching. Oh, everyone stopped. Okay. <laughs> I think it was me because I, I was sorting out my my hall. <laughs> just, mute, just mute yourself if you're sorting out. My bad. Um. Oh. Okay. So oh, there was the night before on Thursday. There was the opening ceremonies. Oh. And so that's where we got to see um Stack Ozuna. Yeah. So the Matt Stacker was in this big sumo wrestling outfit, which was pretty funny. It's on the videos. And uh, he had to walk through the a fire pit. While Chad was, 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 was on the mic. Yeah. However, after near the end of the opening ceremony, Chad says that there is a Death Star prize. Giveaway. A, a Death, Death Star, Star giveaway. I mean, a Death Star was just getting greedy, right? Like, so, no, no, no. so what he said was, he, he goes, We've hidden, we've hidden a two by eight red brick inside the pit two by of two by fours. So at the end of ceremony, everybody just went. Well, Whoosh. when he announced it, I just told Tristan to go, 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 go. Meanwhile, I was like, yo, 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 where are you guys going? So we Tristan just, like, we Tristan don't want to be rude looking. Tristan just took off to um to find to find that two by four, a uh, two by eight brick. But then after the ceremonies were done, everyone just rushed over there. I was actually in the quadrant where it was found, but I had no staying power to look for a two by eight. Oh, it was like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in ten minutes, somebody found it like this. Like there were Damn. everybody was there. At least what fifty people were just like yeah. rummaging through it. But that's the thing, right? Like it's just so, so luck of the draw. Like like anything in this, unless your car is lost, lost, loses by one one thousand. <laughs> like a lot of it is a draw, a raffle, or you know, a you staying think, power. You think, okay, I was gonna say staying power. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, and then so second night. Oh, here's another thing too. Um, in the morning of Friday, they played the derby game again, and so I actually kept my card just because I wanted to see if. Were you was. allowed to keep your card? Well, <laughs> here's the thing. there were more people playing this time, and so they um, they decided to do a raffle to get in. So myself oh. and a bunch of the other people who played. The day before, I think Cookie as well. We decided not to play this time, just to kind of give other people a chance to play. Very altruistic. So I just watched this one, and I took the card. That's back. like me the whole time. I just decided to watch and be altruistic. Yeah, but then, um, but then in the afternoon was 
Lego Family Feud. Oh, yeah. And so this was fun. It was... I think they were just using the sample. But did they actually play this during the public time? No, they, did, they oh. said they were, but they didn't. But uh, oh. the Brickmaster Family versus Papa, <clears throat> Kelly, Cat Lady, Bricks, and Declan. And so it was Brick Adjuster, yeah. Brick Zapper, Little Buskis, and Big T. And, and Mason was like, I want to play because Declan's not playing. I'm like, you're playing because they have more people that need to the fourth. Hello, do you want to be part of this family or De not? Declan was playing. Yeah. <laughs> playing. Uh, yeah, Mason wanted to get out too because he wanted to play with Ian. I'm like, no, you are playing. Because but it's Declan's cool. They had buzzers where you have to buzz in. Yeah, and they had the music. They had the and music. They had the, they had the big <laughs> screen. They had the triple points, the double points. Great hosting by the Mad Stagger. So uh, there were questions like, um, what is the best mode of transportation in a Lego city? Vehicle! No, no. So, so I buzzed in and said car, and actually there were no cars. There was eh, I eh. know, and I had my train, because everybody likes train. Yeah, but was said train. The number one answer was train. Mm -hmm. I think we were able to we slam. Train hard. We stole it with motorcycle. Yes. And then there were questions. I think your first question was, what's the, deadliest, what's the deadliest Lego weapon? And you said gun. I said gun, but they gave it to me as a blaster. blaster. So thank you. The number one answer was lightsaber. Nobody said I lightsaber. I know. We were just not even think. We didn't, we didn't have our Star Warsness to us. Another question was, if you were a kid, what what would be the first thing you make? And so we actually had the kids answer this one first. I think Tristan said spaceship. Mason said like um, what did he say? A house, a wall. A, house, a wall. I think he said a wall. And <laughs> Yeah, so it was uh, that was fun. So we were able to win that one too, and got the Ewok Village. We didn't even time. know there was a prize for that again. Yeah. We were just like, okay, we'll take it. Yeah, so that, was, that was cool. And, and then I, Friday night was bowling for bricks. Oh, so I didn't go. I had like two sleepy children. Two thirds of my people were already out. So bowling for bricks started at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. and there was a bowling alley across the street from the convention center. So it was boys' night out for uh, Nick and Tristan. So Tristan and I went. Um, they got lost. Yeah, it was dark. Because <laughs> I had to drop them off and they came And then out. Tristan was so was dark. <laughs> that on the way home use the GPS, okay? No, I got. <laughs> back to the convention center because I missed a turn. I just turned one out. <laughs> it was no big deal. <laughs> so the, so the was there were six players to each team. I don't know, maybe like six or eight teams in there. Each lane was a team. And so on our team was myself, Tristan, a girl in her bricks, a guy Ooh, in his bricks. They're good, I heard. See, TM I miss this. TMX and Beatrice Bricks. And uh, Fick and Bricks was kind of our... Um, our proxy in there. So he was in there helping us out as well. And so the concept of the game was, so, so the first person would bowl his first two balls, then he would run to the back and start building a set, which was the Santa's workshop. Yeah. And then the second player would bowl his or her two balls, run to the back, tag the person out, and then continue building. So what would have been a good strategy? So, our, stra win. so our strategy, we didn't win, but our strategy uh, TMX came up with this strategy was the first person would just find all the pieces and just lay them out. Next person coming in would place the pieces. Next person would find the pieces and that's but what But the time it's dark. Well, we, well, that's what Thick and Bricks was there with the... Uh, Next time you all stuff. need, like the Darth Vader... <laughs> no, our, our, downfall, <laughs> our downfall was we kept on knocking um, pieces onto the floor without even knowing. Oh, like, Where's the right. door? We can't find the door. We can't find the window. You mean you can't go to the other table? I'm going to take your door? <laughs> yeah, Bricks for Chris was right beside us with Kelly, I think uh, Yankee Brick Picker, um, Cookie, Bricks for Chris. How do you guys make the teams? It's like luck of the draw? Or? No, we just say, uh, we just try to us? make a team. Okay. So that's how we <laughs> And, oh, uh, Chad said that preferably the kids play first. Because some people didn't get a team. Like, uh, Fick and Bricks was, was originally on our team, but then we had uh, Beatrice come in. And so Fick and Bricks said, okay, I'll just play the second round. Okay. And we only stayed for the first round because Tristan was getting Tristan tired. Tristan got tired, which is so weird. Well, we left around 11.30. I know, but he usually all, all pushes the limits. Of when so the score there. of the bowling match didn't really matter. It's more speed. So Because Tristan was doing gutter ball after gutter ball. <laughs> 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 And Guy and his brains. Yes, fantastic, they're I heard. Awesome, they're awesome bowlers. We need to also spruce up our skills there. Girl in her bricks, you're an awesome bowler. Awesome bowler. 
And um, so I don't know if you want to jump in and, and talk about the, what happened afterwards, but the link is in the description, Girl in Your Bricks. But um, the winner of, I guess, the competition got to keep the Santa's workshop. So I guess each member got a Santa's workshop. However, all the participants got to keep the Santa's workshop that they were working on That's and cool. just part it out. So just That's a lot of Santa's workshop. Just huh? part it out. They had a lot of So then the last workshop. day they were also giving out Santa's workshop. So the, the reason why they had all I don't have Santa's workshop. <laughs> the reason why they had all these sets, uh, Chad was saying, was um, ori originally they had a, a kind of arrangement with Lego that Lego was going to give them 50% off mm -hmm. Lego sets to buy for prizes. However, that two, deal, or th two or three weeks before the actual the deal event, didn't happen. Yeah, the deal fell through. So let's oh, we're going to send you. We're going to send you a big pallet of a pallet of Lego. Of Lego. Is that okay? But not just any sets. Lego store exclusive sets. So all the modulars. You oh see shit. <laughs> But these sets are, the, the boxes um, yeah. are damaged. So, so that's the only But really, cabinet. you know, you're going to, uh, Lego store, like our, our desk store in Seattle was in, in beautiful box. Uh, no, actually, we actually go, hi, is this your last box? <laughs> is there a better box than the box? <laughs> oh, we didn't even take the box home. So that had, was bad. They had, like, the, the Death Star. They had the Sydney Opera House. They had yes. the Power Bridge. They had the Ewok Village and all the modular. So they had a it whole bunch of It was pretty fantastic. Hey, and, but again, and this happened two hours away. Forward in the future, this is how it's always going to be. Yeah, I don't know if Lego will be generous in the future as they were this previous year, or yeah, there's going to be too many more, you know, people coming. That the chances of we might have, are we might have lucked out. Lucked out, or we're, we're going to be banned next year. <laughs> only play the game. Only uh, watch the game. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It was on stream. Yes. Okay, so Saturday, oh, yeah, was, Saturday. Saturday was a bit different than uh, Thursday and Friday. Because it's the public. It's it's the public. public. And oh my gosh, the lineup was crazy. Like We're like, oh yeah, it's going to be busy. And uh, Lady Massa was saying last year was so busy, she got she actually got scared at one point because she was thinking if there was any security issue, is there enough of them to deal with chaos, right? Because I think last year there was 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. but and they were going to expect more this year because I guess they probably advertised more or whatever, right? Like people said, oh my god, that wasn't a great show the year before. More and more people are only going to come to future shows. So even in the beginning, I think the doors open at 9.30 and there was already a lineup going around the building. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I, I feel like I didn't even notice it. I was like, I'm not telling you there has to be a big billboard sign somewhere that there's a Philly Brick sign. Okay. So we advertise. Can you mute collector? Can you mute yourself if you're if you're uh, fiddling with bricks? And then just jump in after when you're when you're talking. I'm not I'm not fiddling with brick, I'm fiddling with mint. Okay. That's what anything. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I forgot now. Oh, yeah, so it's like uh and uh Oh, people come. People came in, and uh, I wasn't sure how how people were going to do the uh, five dollar discount with their fingers. The you five mean, finger uh, stealing. Yeah, stealing because you know someone's going. What a great mock! But they had a barricade. They had a barricade in front. Barricade. Yeah, I saw those barricades. Sorry, what was that? Barricade. I saw those kids like grabbing. <laughs> oh my God! There were kids grabbing. Yeah. Like, it's, it's pretty nice. And I mean, we have very small things in our in our exhibit, I guess, college uh -huh. or end, right? Like some people have that huge colossal building. I'm sure that yeah. would be very obvious. Somebody just uploaded that and carried it home. But in our case, it's like, oh, what's this little micro car? <laughs> Mine now. Delicious mint. Micro <laughs> mint, <laughs> three hands, hey! Lego wheels. We were so close to getting to Sydney Opera House. Not. Well, that's what Marty Grandman said. He said, what, what, what? Yeah. Sydney Opera House. I didn't even know it was up for grabs because it was in the part where I cannot talk about it. It was part of the red brick district. I can talk about it. Uh, Saturday night. I don't even, I didn't even witness anything. So, for, so what, it, what it was, the public days, Basically, the public gets to come and look at all the displays. Buy from the vendors, because there were a number of vendors there, too. There was um, people who make guns and weapons. 
Brick arms. Yes, and then the other people were like, yes. They're, um, 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 there was brick arm, clunk arm, clunk arm, clunk arm, clunk arm, DK, the brick show, and so on. Yes. So that was very cool. So, but besides that, because that's that's oh, normal. Yeah, that's nor that's normal in most uh, brick fairs yeah. when you get to see uh, mocks and you get to buy from the vendors. But there were a lot of interactive things to do. So this is the difference between Brick Fest Live and say Brick Fair Virginia, Brick Whoa. Fest Toronto. So they had yeah. um, a mock wall. I mean, yes. uh, a mosaic wall where you can make mosaics. And then that with that cesspool of uh, two by four bricks where we do the firewall, kids were just making great, nice things, beautiful things they're out of it. Pyramids, they're uh -huh. making big towers, yes. they're making weapons. weapons. All you had to do was two by fours, right? Like I, I don't know. They had a video game section where yep. um, there were what, like eight different big screen yep. televisions where people were playing Lego oh. video yep. games. People were putting their names up on the horizontal uh, brick. Uh, Competition wall. walls, yep. so their names and everything. So you can do that. And then and there was then the mini golf. In the central area where we would get our draws, our raffles for the day, people would watch and they would have like YouTube channels like Artifact. Artifact. I love them. They're like stop motion and they would just play them all day long or they would actually, I think, Rick, were there, were there Rick raffle Show, prizes? Brick Show came in and was doing uh, trivia. Brick show. They were doing trivia. Yeah. And so people got prizes for trivia. Um, I was too shy to ask. Mini the collection was in the <laughs> Big big breaks, that was the main reason why I couldn't go near them. I was really shy. <laughs> um, yes. Like I just got back from free comic book day. Um, oh, that's right. Free comic book can day. I can I show you what comments I got? Go for it. Okay. Ninja Turtles. I got Avatar the Last Airbender. Oh, I thought it was. I got um this one kind of, <clears throat> this one kind of an anniversary issue for free comic book game. Cool. What is that? I thought it was Bionicles. <laughs> it's an anniversary issue. Okay. I wish. We got um, um, we got um, robots in disguise. Transformers. Not in disguise. It's disguise. Yeah. I just, I just found out that. But was using. And. And we got um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nice. That's the one that I saw. <laughs> so those are the comments I got from Free Comic Book Day. Oh. My local comic book store. I saw, I think it was, was it Maniac? Maniac was also, had an Instagram uh, yeah, I did. comic uh, book. I think I saw that too. Uh, I need to look at my phone. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Afterward, after the Saturday, because oh, another part. You're right. Uh, no more bricks. These kids were grabbing things because we had actually left for lunch. We went to the cheesecake, cheesecake factory, factory because we don't have that here. Oh <laughs> no! What? I don't want to go. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to go. Right across the border, the, all the license plates will just say Ontario. There are no <laughs> Americans eating at the Cheesecake Factory in Buffalo. It's all Canadians. Or all Americans. It's like we're so deprived, right? Like yeah, we don't eat anything. What'd you guys get? I got a cheesecake. <laughs> she ordered a cheesecake first. Right off the bat, and then the salad for the dessert. She, like, that's how you're she supposed had the to cheesecake eat. for her main course. But I have. I had like a double fries. Well, I'll take a note of that. that. <laughs> I had a burger and then I think... Uh, Tristan had nachos. Tristan I was going to eat those people's food anyway, you know. Eat me a burger. Yeah. But it was <laughs> funny, when we got back, the barricade had moved. We're further. It was like, further away. They were... <laughs> Because they were with the, how the barricades were tight, people can still reach over and grab something, right? Now it's yeah. like they'll grab and they're like, I can't get you. It's like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean brick fire. When I got back, ocean brick fire was, where, where have you been? Where have you been? It was a pandemonium. <laughs> pandemonium? Extreme Brick said that kids were grabbing his tank. <laughs> kids were grabbing Brick, Chris, brick for Chris's Chris, uh, car, train. train. And they were trying to grab our little stuff, but then Ocean Brick Fire stopped them from, from grabbing it. Yeah, they had to swat, swat their hands. So, yeah. So, but when I noticed other people's mocks, they had these um, sexy glass barricades. So oh, nice. Yeah, so that's why when I take Instagram pictures, I'm like this. <laughs> 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 but like I said, we, we, our, our mocks that we bring are very tiny compared to all those 
Z Z V R Brick. Um, I have a um, I have a question. Why in your vlog you were so um scared about the border control finding out um that you um had Lego? Because I don't know, did they charge us tax or duty or I don't know. If I was gonna get free Lego, there was no way I was gonna be paying money for my free Lego. That's just based well, on principle. We were, we were there so Thursday. I did, I mean I kinda of fib, I guess, in Rash's back because he goes he did ask, Did you buy Lego? And I did. I did buy a pick a brick cup, but I forgot. It was like by the time we we're crossing it was two thirty in the morning, my mind was all hazy. And I said, No, I didn't because that's the trick because we got a like just free Lego. And he let us go. So but we were there since Thursday, him. so I think you're allowed eight hundred dollars yeah, per person. Yeah, each per person, and there was five days. of us, so I could have spent four thousand dollars on Lego. Yeah, so I think we would have been safe anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we had no receipts for anything. Plus, you didn't buy it, so. I don't know what they would do in terms of like border crossing, and you have like a, a free any like any gifts, right? Like say, I was visiting my aunt in Buffalo, and she gave us a thousand dollars worth of Lego. What do I do? <laughs> so everyone I know in the comments. And watching wants to know about Red Brick District. You were there. <laughs> I know. I was, is it the whole one? Is it? Yeah, I was gonna say that. I think, I think that's what everybody business. said. Okay. Yes, I think that's what everybody talk about it. Um, Under twenty-one to participate in the Red Brick District. Not nineteen in Canada. Plus, you have to go to Philly Brick Fest. So, if you go to Philly Brick Fest next year. Over 21, you can see what happens at Red Brick District. But basically, it's all the cool. same thing. Yeah. With this, whatever this means. <laughs> he, he does that. He's saying goodbye to me. Goodbye. At 9 o'clock, they did the train wreck live at Philly Brick. So I was reading the hotel room because I have three out of my three children tired. Oh, and yeah. None of them are all so um, Right? And it was posted on your creative friends. And all of them channel. had their cameras ready to, like, they, like, they never see each other, right? <laughs> but, like, I mean, they um, cameras pointed to the screen. I remember, I remember the Saturday stream live from really, <clears throat> and I remember, um, you were so, ex you were, you were so, um, Marita, you were so excited. Was that me? When you finally found the laptop. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure that was me? She was pretty hyper. Yes. Not, that not that true that that was me. Not that, not that she's hyper right now. No. Not that she's. <laughs> I'm actually well again. You should have seen me the last 48 hours. It was like not even Maria. Maria left first for yeah. the last 48 hours. But she is back. Um, in the house, so. Yeah. So, so I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be a make and take in Canada. Toys R Uses. Tomorrow? Tomorrow! Yes, there is! Wookie Gunship. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the micro Wookie Gunship. I want my own. Oh, okay. So, yes, no. So, the live stream, he left because his ride back to the hotel well, was sick and I stayed first and I gave a tour yeah. of, the, of the two black and, mops. Okay, this, this sounds really. Maybe the word is pathetic, but like whenever he's on the stream, I actually don't watch the stream, or when I do, it's already on, so I just like go, hey, who is there, right? But I actually don't even know how to turn it on. <laughs> so I'm like at the hotel, going, damn it, I'm in the hotel. How do I even turn this on? It's like pretty historical to some sort of level. Right? Um, speaking of the stream, I'm wondering who's hosting tonight. Big B. Big B. Ridge. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that means for Las Vegas time. Yeah, working hours. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Eight o'clock Las Vegas time. Okay, so maybe it's not way past my bedtime, but it's um, it's also eight o'clock. It's also eight o'clock his time because he's in Washington. Right. <clears throat> so uh, anyhow, you gave the tour and. It was, it was very good. Like uh, I gave the tour, and then well, I, actually, I toured my micro city. And then, the and then when, I was, when I was done, coincidentally, Extreme Bricks walks in, and so he was able to give his tour. And when he was done, coincidentally, Chicken Bricks came coincidentally. In. So what oh, was happening was they were actually watching the the train. They were watching the train wreck from the other room, and whenever they saw that the next person was gonna come in, oh. they would just run in. And it was hosted from YCF's channel. Your creative friends. So with 20,000 people, where are the viewers? Well, I think they have 
I've, I've checked, and I think it has like over 800 views now. Oh. So it has a lot of views. Oh my gosh. So a lot of people crazy? have seen you go. Well, yours was near the end, so I don't know if people actually watched that. No, far, I'm really shy. That far <laughs> I remember. Um, um, I remember <laughs> watching. You know? I remember watching your vlog um, from Philly Brickfest where you did the behind the um, like behind the scene of the live stream with the live stream on the jumbotron. Oh yes, you're <laughs> talking about when the li when the train wreck was going on. I was actually filming. I know. Them doing the train wreck. I know. Everybody was taking pictures and posting it on Instagram. Like again, we only don't see each other every Saturday. Yeah. But not in Philadelphia, right? So that was very, very Well, cool. the cool thing was it was on the big screen. It was it was like watching this. I guess you the big, big screen. screen. It was like on the yeah. Jumbotron. And you see a huge big B. It's even a bigger B bricks. <laughs> <laughs> so after a while, though, they just put their laptop down. Oh, so I went home. Oh. And I'm like, you're home already? How could you leave the live stream? Well, I was going to stay till 2, but then Thick and Brick said he was going to leave. And, and he doesn't drink. And I don't drink, and I didn't know who else was drinking, so I thought, okay, then here's an opportunity for me to get home. So I got home, and Maria was watching the stream. I know, and I've never watched this stream before. <laughs> and then suddenly the laptop just goes down. And uh, who was on who was on the um, train wreck by then? It was Big B. It was Mike. It was was Tiffany on already by that point? Yeah, Tiffany was on. Uh, um, Brick Smith. Brick Smith. And yeah. Brittany. And Brittany. And they were going, oh my gosh, someone pick up the laptop. Someone pick up the laptop. And I don't know, maybe the second jolt of adrenaline kicked in, and I'm like, I should pick up the laptop. <laughs> because yeah. everything is fake here, right? She drove back. <laughs> but we weren't sure if the doors were locked or not. So and I didn't have anybody oh, yeah. to like how go. long um, and I am not Dexter as I'm going like this to the board. I have a um I have a question. How long did it take you to get from um your hotel? Oh. It's very um, close. It's only five kilometers, so that's like five minutes. Yeah, not not too long. Not too long for me. I teleport. Hey Belfast Bricks. <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, I found the laptop. But again, you know, with other people's properties, other people's children, I get a little funny, and I have to deal with it. So it was uh, it was Clutch's laptop, and I'm like, I need your permission before. Was it I Clutch's, or I think it was Chad's laptop? I'm really sorry. It was Chad's. <laughs> I can't your request right now. Please try again in a little while. Oh, that's us. That's my that's my phone. Well, how embarrassing! I was like, what the? Theory. <laughs> Theory. <laughs> Theory. <laughs> Go this away! Is, you need your own link to get on this. <laughs> loud Siri thinks that we're telling us something. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I pretty much just carried the laptop for 30 minutes. I really wasn't um, bringing it around. But it was very nice. I like things when it's dark and late. And everybody else was in the uh, pub area. They're making mocks. I think each person got one of those classic Lego uh, box thingies with uh, just classic Lego pieces. Uh, pastel. The, the I actually haven't seen that brick box over here in Canada, and they were just making mocks, theme unknown. But I think what sells the winning is the story that goes along with your mock. I think the winner was did like his life in Lego, where he, he made a he made a mock and it told the uh, different stages. Oh, of that his makes life. sense. So it was like first he was into this theme, and then he was into that theme. And so he did that with his mock of just random pieces. I was wondering why it took them so yeah, long, so but I guess everybody had to say a story. Yeah, the, the prize for that one. Didn't you guys? Didn't you guys? Um, um, I thought, I thought, um, I thought you guys brought um one of those boxes home from Philly. Which boxes? Seven. Which box? Um, the the classic um the um, um the Brit boxes. No, I we, didn't, we didn't get that. No, I actually when I had my extreme brick adventure on Sunday, we ran across one of those boxes under the clearance section at Walmart and it was still sold for thirty bucks, which I thought was pretty pricey. Or clearance. Hmm. I don't know. I thought that that should be the regular price. I could be wrong. And then uh so yes, that was uh, the train wreck. 
I came. I went home around two. Also, there's a number of us that was just out of the pub anyway. I didn't get my own scooter. I don't know if they didn't trust me with having my own scooter, so I kind of just so, around. Um, so um, um, um. Oh, and they also had another firewalk that evening. Yes. But uh, because the convention that. center <laughs> is going to pretty much kick everybody out by 2 a.m. It's like any wedding, right? Music goes on. I mean, the lights go on. Music turns off. Um, for the uh, uh, walk of fire. Why did they say this? Firewalk. 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 <laughs> on the two by four breaks, they had to make it musical firewalk. So music plays, and it was like theme from Django or theme from I could be wrong. A video game, and if it's off, you have to get out of the pool. At that point, not everybody wanted to play. I think everybody still had bad memories of how that feeling is under your foot. I didn't play. But uh, <laughs> Helen, Kelly, uh, actually was the third last to go. It was very scary, though, because like you actually had to jump out and then jump back in. I think a guy in his brick uh, was losing his shit. Yeah, so he just he just left the pool, ultimately. So, uh, um... So, and the one was so fun. Um, <laughs> then was joining. Um, so what happened in the? Um, what happened? What happened after? After you got all kicked? Um, after all of you got kicked out of the uh, um, arena by security? Also, a bunch of them from Tublog, they went to a restaurant called Chicky and Pete. And so they, they said the food was really good. So we actually went to Chickies and Teeth the next day, and I got a Philly cheesesteak. And it was good. <laughs> it was really good. So oh, our, first Philly, our first Philly cheesesteak experience was not so good. <laughs> we, we were recommended to go to this one. Maybe it has like a historical merit. Maybe it's one of the very few first places who set up shop because their walls were literally covered by a lot of uh, celebrities. Coming there, but we were not impressed at all. It was like bread, meat, eat it, and we're like, this is it? Like really? And like not, no ambience to the place other than you know their walls were lined by all these celebrities. So we must be missing some taste buds to actually appreciate that first chili, uh, chili cheesesteak. But the one at Cookies and Peas were very was very good. They had a really good uh, sauce that went to it, right? Yep. I just ordered the classic. And then I Maria eat. ordered a pepperoni pizza, and the weird thing was, the waitress was asking. Who it was she looked at like, so you you would like your cheese over the sauce, right? And I'm like, what? yeah. <laughs> I would like the cheese. Okay. No, no, she said no. For you guys, you would like the cheese over the sauce because I guess they would put the sauce over the cheese, but they look at us like. Is it because we're Asian? <laughs> Reeking, we are reeking of cheese over the sauce. Is that a, um, I have no. a, I have a, I have a question. <laughs> well, I doesn't tolerate Asians. That's the truth. Why, um, um, why can't you bring, um, like if, like if you're traveling, um, from Canada to the United States, the border control won't let you bring, um, um, um. Fruit and um, fruit and vegetables. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's a really valid concern. I think for flora fauna, um, what's the word? For example, if there's a seed from Canada. Yes, you have oranges. We have oranges. I think oh, um, come from Florida, but there are quite the seeds that it could cross contaminate with. Because a friend of mine just went maybe a year ago to pick up his wife from the Buffalo airport. He was eating a peach. So of course, there's a pit in the peach. And he already finished eating his peach. He just put it down beside him on a paper towel. And the cross guard said, what is that on the paper towel? And he's like, oh, it's a peach pit. And they actually pulled him over. A peach pit. A peach what? pit. Because that peach pit could be, uh, I guess, planted in U.S. soil. And who knows if it could wreak havoc, hmm. havoc to the entire agricultural makeup of the USA. Kill you all with peaches from Canada. I think we even get our peaches from Florida. <laughs> so every morning at the um, Philly Breakfast, they did a raffle. And they raffled off five prizes. And you just have to write your name on the little red card. So they Put did a magic hat, magic Friday hat. Friday morning, Saturday, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Three, Sunday four, evening. 
in the closing ceremony. So that's what we say to the closing ceremony. The grand prize for every raffle in the morning was the grand emporium. We didn't get that. With all the other ones were like little sets. So the weird thing or funny thing was Saturday, uh, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. The grand prize, grand emporium. Bricks for Chris wins the grand emporium. Yeah. <laughs> and then at club schools, okay, we have a sixth prize, a mystery prize. So Clutch brings this blue mystery blue bin, and they do they draw one more name. Lady Stacker draws it, and she's like, she just laughs her head she off. She laughs her head off, gives it to Matt Stacker, and Matt Stacker says, really, Mrs. Bricks for Chris. So. <laughs> Back to back, Bricks for Chris and Mrs. Bricks for Chris wins the big Sometimes raffle Sometimes when you call the Lego, Jeez. it will just come to you. So I think Mrs. Bricks for Chris. Rigged. Rigged. I don't know how you could rig it. They were shaking the they magic shaking it. Unless they ate all the other names and those were the only two tickets left. In there. So it was the, the, the Quinjet and the Grand Yeah, they didn't have a lot of superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of oh, another, another good set that was wrapped, that was given out uh, for your um, the drunken fire walk was the zombie set for the monster. Yeah, players. so that was the last oh, uh, cool. fire walk. The the um, zombie bride and groom. Um, the zombie bride and groom. Wasn't wasn't the monster fighter zombie set a uh, um a Target exclusive? It was, yes. and that's why it disappeared like so quickly. Yes, so. Uh, I don't know. I feel like even if it's retired and the minifigs, someone was just checking it out actually at the convention that the minifigs were twenty dollars each. I feel like the other, like the, the pet shop and the whatever you want, the Parisian restaurant were were I don't know funner. You're bigger. They're more pieces. If you're not gonna build, at least you have all I, the pieces to make mocks with. Like white Christmas. I bought. I bought. I bought. I think I bought Jack the Hammer. Which only came in two sets. That's a good the, thing. The um, oh, the, the 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 zombie set, and um, uh, and I think the uh, uh, the um, the vampire castle. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you know that um, the bunny rabbit? They're selling the bunny the. Um, mini fake, collectible yeah. minifigure bunny rabbit for fifty dollars. Yeah. The and according to No More Bricks, my the librarian. My face. Yeah. Librarian. No, your whole. Twenty dollars because we bought it all. <laughs> <laughs> so this was, I think, forty bucks too. The lizard. Really? Forty. Forty. Forty to forty. Wow. I think so. Wait. Like, the currency, the global currency, will be Lego. And that's when we'll become millionaires. Good enough. It's good enough when I because I picked all those up earlier, like not earlier, like when I first started getting back into when I when I first started collecting the collectible meat figures, they weren't that expensive. All of these, um, the I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess people started making mocks with them. Yeah. You can see people have like multiple on multiple the uh, Goblin Army right here, Secret <laughs> Goblin Army. So it's all about the piggy army, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Or multiples, um, or multiples of the, um. Your sister's here. I like that tube lug. I like the tube lug. Yeah, um, very nice. Oh yes. So, oh, building yeah. with Dana and Riley actually very came up cool. with this. Yeah. I want to make one like that. So they made it. They made it. Dana and Riley made it. I didn't get a chance to see their yeah. channel. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh, cool. I just made my own. I was really impressed. <laughs> I like I like the 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 symbol for tube lug. Yeah, they did a good job so with we're that. Under the the for that. Oh. Uh, well, anyways, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> well, there was a closing ceremony. The closing ceremony. Where, oh um, my gosh, they were giving more Legos. Like, were like the draw was like crazy. They probably gave like ten of the Santa workshops. Ten Santa workshops. Ten Santa workshops. Like five, three, or five um, house cinemas. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like the ones that oh, the wow. ones that I got. There was. They were just basically, there was a tower bridge. They had all this excess Lego that they just wanted to give away. It's like, oh my god, call my name already. But my the grand prize <laughs> was the tower bridge. The, the very last one. Because they went from the smallest to biggest. Yeah. So Tristan was able to get a Santa's workshop, and I was able to get the, the Palace Cinema. And again, if we had a Santa, it gets to the very, 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 very end. Three brick friends. Hey, Mike. Mike says, great, great, next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Next time.
Uh, and then we pretty much left Philadelphia oh. straight from the convention center. And it was a very painful drive in the dark. And we tried to sleep at some of those pit stops, but they were creepy because who knows what's going to be pressed at your window if you wake up. Oh, yeah, he got something. So there was um, there was an award ceremony. And I was able to get best micro scale mock. So this is cool because it's a printed brick. This here is printed. And the hip swivel. You know, I was watching uh, Bricks for Chris's uh, last year's Philly Brick Festival. Yes. And I wish they had made Benjamin Franklin again in the middle of plexiglass. Our giveaway, I, our giveaway was the Philly Fanatic. Yes. But I think the Benjamin Franklin. I mean, I guess we can make it. It's like Shakespeare head and like a. But very cool. Well, actually. they. It was tough because they had to keep searching for these Benjamin Franklins. I, I even remember. Oh. I remember that. Okay. Oh. Where did the mini free collector go? I think somebody came and he went all the way. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess that's Philly Breakfast. Yay! And then from Philly Breakfast, let's see, we brought home a bug. We brought home a bug. I remember uh, Lady Magic Stackers, Alicia, was saying last year after <clears throat> the convention center. She was actually quite ill for many days after, and it was a GI issue. And uh, we had Mason throw up during the weekend. We had Hayden throw up first, but we thought Hayden was just choking on a popcorn, which he could still be choking on a popcorn. Uh, again, you know, when you have so many kids, there's only so many germs that can get shared. And uh, you can only Purell your hands so many times and wash your hands before something happens, right? So and, uh, I was still off on Monday, which was a good thing because we didn't get home until 4 a.m. in the morning. And I didn't sleep. The boys went to school because they were asleep in the car. I'm like, yeah, you're going to go to school because I need to do all this cleaning. And I was already feeling off, but I thought maybe it was just because I, was, I wasn't uh, able to sleep. Not that I sleep much. And then on uh, Tuesday, I went to work. And then I was just really off. My stomach was just not its usual stomach. I usually eat like three breakfasts before I even make it to work. And I, I didn't even eat, which is weird. And by noon, I got a call from Tristan's school saying that Tristan's actually quite sick in school. So with that, I said, yeah, I am not feeling so hot myself. And I left. And I didn't leave the house pretty much until Friday morning. Yes. Out. Like, I was shaking. So that was an extended vacation oh, for you. But it was horrible. I would rather go to work. <laughs> like, I hate being home, and I hate being sick. And I, I have to stop saying it never happens. But very humbling to be sick. I don't like being sick. And so things. But you were not sick. You know, he didn't sick. hang out with us. <laughs> so things Lego Lego related things that we did this week. You had some drawings. If you can show everyone oh, what you drew. Yeah, because we were gone. What did I draw? Did I draw beast? Oh, so from the brick show, we actually bought a um, beast, a custom beast minifig. They were selling them for twenty dollars. They had other ones like Mystique and. Uh, Jean Grey, they had Gambit, very cool ones, but we like the beast. I guess they just use really um, Wolverine's hair piece. The face right? is kind of scary, but I like the torso. And the hair piece looks cool. So because of that, I was inspired to do a beast. So this is Maria's beast. Now, when I was drawing that, I was actually falling asleep. So all these the little... face looks like Hank. McCoy, with the big because I want him to be happy. Eyebrows. Happy Hank. Is that Hank? This beast is scary. Scary. But if you all see you know, the torso, it's very raised. Like the ink is quite raised on these oh, yeah. custom, custom uh, figures. And then just yesterday, because Age of Ultron uh, came out yesterday, I wanted me to draw Black Widow Baby. Mm -hmm. I can't. The song that was in my head. Sorry. So. I haven't really drawn as much as I wanted to draw. Something about, you know, housework, work, life, eating, being sick, got in the way for that. But we did some haul videos. We uh, posted the uh, Philly Breakfast haul under my channel and uh, a few more items. Uh, then we also brought some um, sick figs home with us. So I was able to get... New in Canada. I was able to get a uh, Yankee brick picker gave me this. And it's a custom printed torso here that says Yankee Brick Picker, a.k.a. Rob Schneider, Schneider. So the thing about Yankee Brick Picker, which is cool, is he's making his own bricks and mortar Lego store. 
So not a Bricklink store, but an actual physical store where you can go inside and buy Lego. So it's like our lasting toys here. It's like lasting here. toys. He signed a contract. And they um, visited Lego to in uh, visited Lego. Uh, what's the state? I forgot. It's in Instagram. Connecticut. Connecticut. Is it everything in Connecticut? I'm not sure. So that's Yankee Brick Picker. Yes. Oh, and one one other fact about Yankee Brick Picker. Because of him, our channels were born. Yeah, Yankee Brick Picker was my inspiration to starting a YouTube channel. When I watched, I think it was his second ever video. It was called My Legal Story. And I just related to the things that he was saying. So check out that video. You might get inspired to make even more videos. Next thing I got was from Martin. T-Max made it. TMX brick notes, and this is his alternate face. It is a double-sided face. Here's the other face, the happy face. But maybe he was carsick too. But when he comes to Canada, it's really cold. Not anymore. It was really hot today. It's not quite Arizona hot. So <laughs> not he's quite Arizona. nervous being in Canada, so he has the nervous face. And then I got Ocean Brickfire who has an awesome vehicle display at Philly Brickfest. So he's really into these... Um, his dad finished reading uh, The Hunger Games volume His dad two. was there reading The Hunger <laughs> I Games. I was so jealous. Oh, you're reading a book. I want to read a book, too. <laughs> and I also got a sick fit from Matt Mox, who was there. He had a really, really nice train display. And he had a, a Star Trek... He had a Star Trek Enterprise. Enterprise. Yeah, very cool. So, these guys will be oh, in a video up things. on the sixth. What are you into the Who's that big? I don't know. Why do you go to Right? Like that. I mean, that should be like a, a weekly thing. Are you getting complacent here? Not too busy. And uh, let's talk about The Simpsons too. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So many things have happened. It's like I fell off. And so this happened yesterday. So I wasn't able to partake in the Simpsons feel off. But he did. So that was, I went to the Lego store around Noon. 1, oh, around 12, 12.30, 1 o'clock. And uh, maybe it was closer to 12, 12 or 12.30. And the Lego store opens at 10. So I was expecting a lot of people to be around the Simpsons minifigure section, but no one was there. What if nobody really likes Simpsons? The Lego store employee said, I'm the fifth person there. The four people before me all already found their 16... Well, what they thought was their 16. And where are the six. videos? Well, they're probably not on YouTube. <laughs> and so he brought in a fresh box for me to start feeling through. So sat in the corner. I locked myself right there on the corner. There is no more shame of like just sitting on the corner like a kid. It wasn't even in the corner. It was just in front of the section. <laughs> and so I people even, like, excuse me, can I just get this set in I front did, of you? <laughs> yeah, that's what they were doing. I laid, the, I laid the, the packs on the floor every time I... So I had on my iPhone a picture of the four rows, how they have it like that, the four rows. And then whenever I feel for something, then I plop it down in the same order of the picture so I knew which one was which. And compared to Series 13, I'd say this one was a little bit tougher to feel for. Um, what I was feeling for first were for the difference between the long legs and the short legs. Because the, the short legs, you can hey guys. pick it up. Hey, Magnus. The short right. legs, you can kind of pick out whether it's going to be big or tall, and then after that, just figure out the, the square tiles, the little mm -hmm. accessories, and then you can figure out like which Maggie one's Maggie would have been easy. Maggie's just like a chunk and a, a dog. Yep. Done. Right? What so you guys talking like, about? All right, we're talking about the uh, Simpsons Series 2. Feel-offs. Yeah, Feel-offs. Yesterday, oh. I went to the Lego store. Just I about, haven't gone in yet. I want to get some. It's, uh, I'm just... Uh, I, I want to go get some today or yesterday, but yesterday I went to go see Age of Ultron and it was busy at school. Was that good? Was the movie good? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it, uh, I don't know if it was better than the first one, but it was pretty good. You don't know if it was better than the first one, so you weren't impressed. Like, whoa. This is like, you know... Well, there was quite a lot of action. Basically, think of the Battle of New York almost all the way through, so... So... Nice. No. So, uh, you, you guys won't be disappointed. You guys won't be disappointed. Is that echo coming from you? Do what? you have the, the video playing in the background? Uh, yeah, I have... Yeah, sorry. I, I just... I just paused it. No problem. 
Um, so you said you wanted to uh, find the minifigures today or tomorrow? Yeah, but uh, I'm working on, I'm going to uh, Comic-Con in my area, so I'm oh, making a costume. Which so Comic-Con? I'm going as Red Hood, so. No, no, which one is it? Which city? Not San Diego uh, Comic-Con. Uh, I'm in Canada, so I'm in uh, Ottawa. Ottawa Comic-Con. Oh, okay. There is an Ottawa Comic-Con? I guess there is. The Toronto Comic-Con was a few weeks. Yeah, I know. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to the Fan Expo. Have you ever uh, been? Have, is there a fan expo in Ottawa? Well, I well I live in uh, I live in Quebec, but uh, okay. me and my friend are just gonna drive over. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We actually met a couple of uh, mockers at Philly Breakfast, and they came from, from Quebec. Quebec City. Yeah. And they were talking on and on about like this guy, uh, Monsieur Caron. But yeah, he actually I know. got hired by Lego to do stop motion. I'm like, wow, amazing! So I actually just went to this channel. Uh, because um, uh, he organized the first uh, Lego uh, brick film festival in Canada. Yes. yes, I just saw the links. I just Googled him yesterday, and I was just amazed. Like, he did the, uh, uh, what's it called, Ghostbusters. He did, like, a whole yeah. movie. I Love know. It. He's amazing. Phenomenal. And he I'm saw curious. my work that I did on uh, Cinebreak, the video I did. Yes. So he wants to invite me next year as a VIP to Oh, uh, awesome. Film. That's awesome. Yeah. The, the, the couple that we met, they are pretty good friends with him, so they were telling us oh, to go to Sydney Brick. And the Brotherhood Workshop. Oh, okay, okay. So that's cool. Yeah, we might, I, I've never been to Quebec City. The furthest we've been to is Montreal. Yeah, Yeah, I'm, I'm in Montreal. So. Oh, okay. So there's a Lego store in Montreal? We technically yeah, only go to Sydney Brick. We Lego got store. Uh, two recently. We got two oh, cool. very recently. So. So. Have you been able to go to the opening? Of any of those to get any of the good, you know, like giveaway well, sets? I, I've been I've been to one of the openings. I haven't got anything uh, like special, not those Lego store sets. No, I maybe there's like a limited number. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, well, hopefully one day we'll uh, make it up to uh, Quebec yeah. City and check out the Sydney Brick and everything because yeah. when you put Mr. Ken on it, all of that stuff, and I'm. Very yeah, impressive. Last sure. year was in uh, this year it was in Laval. Yeah. Uh, they want to do another one, so that's why they're organizing everything. So, so it's uh, probably going to be in like October or something or November. Okay. Okay. So, so Magnus, yeah. you, have you made any mocks this week? Um, I'm well. It's I'm working on. It's I'm thinking of building a custom city, but I'm trying to get everything there and planning everything out. Then and I'm also I also want to start working on a stop motion series, so cool. uh like zombie apocalypse type thing, but like it's supposed wow. to be a prequel before the Lego movie and clutch powers. So Okay. That's cool. Oh minifigure collectors here. Hey, minifigure collector. Where did you go? I hey. had to. I had to. Um, I had to deal with um, um. I had to deal with family. Oh, family. <laughs> I think I have to deal with family soon too. I think I have to feed small people in the house. Minifigure collector. This is what I showed earlier. Um, <clears throat> that you missed. Oh, that's, that's, cool. that's cool. So this is a printed brick, where it says. Um, best micro scale, really brick fast. And then you got the. Which mock did you win it for? It was a, a micro city. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, his alternate um, channel is called uh, Brick Dancer, so check it out. Okay. But uh, very few subscribers, nobody knows it's him. And I don't know. I guess it came out. Is it the Philly Brick Fest is it's coming out party? Uh, I think you just came. You just. Um. Uh, brick Dancer. Yeah. Um. Do you like comics? Uh, yeah. Um. Did you know today was free? Um, comic book day. At uh, least here in America. What do you mean? He's in. He's in uh, Montreal. Ted. Ted. Today in America. Um. All the comic books. Yeah, I, I know. know. Free comic book day. We have that here. But I wasn't able to go because I was making my costume for Comic Con. Yeah. So. What are? <laughs> yeah. I spent most of the day with paper mache on my face to make the mask. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> oh my god, that, that figure is awesome. I want them to make more X-Men figures. I know, I totally, totally agree. But we're missing uh, Juggernaut, Blob. There's so we, much... We got, we got this many from the Brick Show's vendor vending area. Like that one. Um, actually, Prince was also at Philly Brickfest. And he had like Gambit, Mystique, uh, Jean Grey, oh. and Professor X. It was really good, um, but they were selling each one um, twenty dollars. Like if they were gonna, um, if they were gonna do a, um, to make more sets with these minifigures, and that's how we can get them in the future. I know I, it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy um, 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 I would think if they were gonna do Juggernaut. They would have to make him a big fig. No, Brick Dancer doesn't talk much. Yeah, big fig. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have to make. He had to be a big fig. And he had like Gambit. Uh oh. But uh, we. It's like the Marvel universe is so large, and like Lego has just covered so like a such a small portion of it it's like um the um, the marvel and dc universe is so massive yeah it's like they have they, there's so much characters they can make like well they just delved into the um, guardians of the galaxy so yeah the a girl and her bricks got sick too after philly breakfast um, so we need a different alternate uh things to bring next year to not get sick no, I'm bringing the whole face mask from the hospital. Oh. I'm gonna walk like, who's that guy? That Michael mini Jackson. fig? No, <laughs> no, it was a mini fig that's yellow. He has like a radiation sign to him. Oh, uh, the hazmat guy. Hazmat guy. I'm oh, going yeah. as that to the next fully brick fest, and I'm gonna duct tape my children. So, are you guys interested in any of those new Jurassic World sets that just came out? Oh, yeah. Today? They're too much like uh, the Dino Fighters. I agree. Like, yeah, Dino Attack or whatever, like uh, the. Came ones with that. Was little... Did you guys? Oh, know um, that? um, all the one, all the theme with all the yellow vehicles. Yeah, yeah that one. So now it's all the blue and white vehicles. Yeah. I hope we get Suicide Squad sets. I don't know if I like the sets. Maybe if they go on clearance. According to your channel, what would that be? Get it on clearance. No. Get it on clearance. Or leave it on the shelf. Leave it on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> they just, yeah, they, with the sunglasses they, figure collector. He's cool. Is it too bright in Las Vegas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it um, yeah. it went 120 here today. Wow. What is that in Celsius? 120. 100. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't convert. There's no easy conversion. That's very high. We don't use that. Oh my God. What are the best things about going across the border? Cheap gas. For all you people who buy gas for your vehicles, cheap gas. Amazing. We were filling up our tank at thirty-six dollars. Full tank. We have a humongous van, and even with a crappy, crappy uh, exchange rate, that's about forty-two dollars Canadian. I usually uh, spend sixty dollars at least here. Here, so, um, excited. Here I'm going back in, um, to my tank. um, here in Vegas, um, um, gas is like uh. Three dollars a gallon. Um, I I don't have to I don't have to do gas. Um, I don't have to um, uh, get gas yeah, because yeah. I because I ride a bike. I ride a oh, bicycle. You're everywhere. very environmentally friendly. I tried that for a summer. I rode the bike to work, and uh, yeah, it only lasted for a summer. Man, yeah. I'm just a minifigure. I can. Um, I can't drive anywhere now because I'm, uh, I'm not 16, so I have to take the city bus everywhere. What are your thoughts on the Creator Ferris wheel? We just watched that on YouTube. The, um, um, what are my thoughts oh. on the Creator Ferris wheel? Um, yeah. looks cool. Too um, 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 uh, it um. Like it, like it looked cool, um, but it's gonna be um, too overpriced for my taste. Yeah. It's like the helicarrier. That was really expensive. I I didn't get I, it. I um, I like I wouldn't like. I could see potential for the parts, but keeping it together as a set and displaying it. Um, but the figures with the helicarrier, it's like we got them in other Age of Ultron sets. They're 
Well, except Nick Fury and Maria Hill. They were basically figures we could get in other sets. Yeah, the first, the first wheel is 2,464 pieces. It's um, 23 inches tall, 21 inches wide, so it's very big. It's hard. It's going to be hard to display it if you're going to display it. But it's cool. You can actually motorize it, that it can just can motorize it. watch it according to the guy on YouTube for hours. It comes with 10 minifigures. But the torsos are. I, I know. One, one new torso. Yeah. Right. That's what I hate about the creator sets. That like we've got them those torsos so many times. I know. I know. Um. Um. They're even in the store, right? Like that's what they have for those. That, um. 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 There's um only one torso in. That's exclusive. Like I consider the research into two kind of a creator set in a way. Um, yeah, the research that, institute. It's like that, I don't. That um, and it had an exclusive torso for one of the female mini fits in. It's like. Like the research institute, it was pretty like simple pieces. It wasn't anything big. Yeah. Oh, um. Oh, speaking of the research institute, the um, I don't know what the project name was, but the like, person yeah. who made the research institute also got another project. And then, like adventure thing or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. But I hope we get Suicide Squad sets. That would be amazing. That's not very nice. That's oh. It's, a, it's like a team of villains. They're making a movie about it, a DC. They're coming out. Okay, with okay, okay, cool. So it's um, like, it's basically. Um, that, that, that would be cool to get a, um, to get a blue, um, red, white, and blue um, uh, Harley Quinn. Yeah, and uh, White Shark. I know uh, White Shark, a big figure White Shark. That would be amazing. Speaking of DC, have you guys heard about the Bat Pod? Yes, but I can't get it because I'm in Quebec. Oh, does that mean I can't get it because I'm in I'm in Toronto? No, you could get it all over Canada except Quebec. Why? What crazy rule is that? Well, it's a it's a it's like a draw. There's only 170 sets. Get it. If you buy a DC set okay. between the June 1st and June 30th, your okay. name is entered into a draw. So how many are you going to buy? No, you can oh. only buy one per day. So what if you buy one per day and then return it? I don't know. But to enter into the draw, you can only one customer per day, and then there's 170 sets in the world. It's I'm not just going to buy instructions and buy parts on Brickley. Just in the Lego store? Just in the Lego store. What was that, Magnus? I'm just going to... Find the instructions like online, yeah. and just build it that way. Parts on Bricklink. Yeah. True. Yeah. Uh, what else happens? The the Ninjago um, exclusive minifigure was revealed. It's going to be a Sensei Wu for that uh, the book, the, the Ninjago book. Secret, Sensei Wu. Secret World. Well, uh, I used to be into Ninjago like when I was younger, but like now it's there's nothing really special about it. Like I watched the TV show for a while. Yeah. It's, it's just gotten boring. Like you know. However, however, what if it was a younger kid than you who just yeah. saw Ninjago yeah. now? Maybe you just outgrew Ninjago. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly, of all the art that I draw, the most viewed are my Ninjago pieces. Most oh, viewed. Really? Hands down. Yeah. Everyone likes I, I love superheroes, and that's what I've been drawing lately, like the last many months now. But all of my Ninjago pieces are the ones that I get so many comments from and requests to do it like step by step. It's, it's phenomenal, I guess, the following. It might be like an evolution. You got Ninjago. Like, city, like, city, like I can't believe they're like, getting so much success. They're basically making the same vehicles all over again, like, over and over again. But it's like soap opera, right? It's what sells. There, they, um, um, Nin, Nin, um, 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 Magnet, Ninjago yeah. is getting repetitive, like, um, uh, repetitive, like Star Wars. 
No. No. It's Star Wars. They're making, like, new adaptations. They're making them better, like, the sets. It's not, like... It's not Ninjago. Ninjago, it's like they've used the snakes as a villain like two times already. They've used Garmadon way too much. So speaking of Star Wars, May the 4th weekend. This is May the 4th weekend. So you went to the store today? I went to the store today to get the uh, exclusive Julie Ren uh, minifig. minifig. And um, you have to spend over $75. There weren't any good but deals. But did you give it yesterday when you spent all that money? No, on it, it has it has to be between today until oh. May the fourth. Actually, I think Monday. Okay. And um, there weren't any good deals. Nothing. People were lining up, however, for <laughs> the, the the new Tie Fighter, the UCS Tie Fighter. Oh. But I didn't get it. It didn't. I don't know. It's not really appealing to me. To, but then people were like having a lot of them. I um, used to be really into Star Wars, but then it's like. It was basically just all ships, so I stopped, and then now I'm collecting DC and Marvel and Minecraft and yeah, uh, just Lego ideas. Well, that's the thing, right? You can only like collect so many of something. Like even yeah. like he loves Star Wars, but he actually well, didn't. Um, I've um, <laughs> I've always I've always wondered something. Yeah. Why does Lego not do more? Um. More, more, um, more play sets for Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have the Ewok Village. They have the Hoth. Yeah. Team, they have Emperor's Pop. Well, the Pop the, teams may, maybe the the people who are responsible, right? Because I'm sure there's in different sectors designers for Star Wars Lego, designers for for superheroes Lego. Maybe their interests are shifts. Yeah. But Toys R Us, I don't, I'm not sure if it's only in Canada, but Toys R Us this Electro. weekend, it's 20% off all Lego Star Wars. Oh, but there do they go. have the Electro? I didn't I didn't go to Toys R Us. Oh. We're planning on going tomorrow for the Wookiee Gunship oh. uh, make and take, so maybe I we might, I might go tomorrow. I'm going to be, I need to go to Walmart or something. I don't know. I'm on the yeah, Toys R Us has the, um, the Electro, but I'm not sure if it has it in Canada or just in the States. Oh. But, um, at the end of this month. But, but if they just yeah. have them to buy, I'm just going to get a ton of them. Yeah. yeah. Electro Army. Electro yeah. Army. Right. Well, but, um, um, I mean, why doesn't Lego make, um, um, like most of the liking themes do not have um quote unquote plot. But Lego like, Dimensions, what do you guys think? Lego Dimensions. Uh I don't know. I like the them. Expensive. Mini figure collector. I like the uh I like the, the side packets. I just saw a, a video by Just You Good today. Yeah, yeah. Portal, yeah. Gooby Doo, <laughs> Jurassic World. You can have Jurassic World, Scooby Doo, uh, The Simpsons. I guess it's another platform by which Lego can, you know, steer fans, would, fans toward them. I I would be, I'm all for it if you could detach the minifigures. Uh, off. No, yeah. I yeah. you could, right? You could. Yes. You could. You could detach. But if you can't, then then forget no, it. No, I know. It's like the magnets. I just have magnets, and I guess the point is. I heard. I heard um, the same thing as Skylander and Disney Infinity. Yeah. You don't need more of yeah. that. It, 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 I um, 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 I heard, I heard the, I heard the mini fit, are a separate piece. Yes, I heard that too. And what's up? Uh, the June, the June Lego store calendar we have. Oh the free, yeah. The free Winter Soldier minifigure coming out in June. That's exciting. I'm, I, I, I have Magnus, to get tons of those. Magnus, you gotta get this one. But you have to spend another seventy-five dollars. Between June 1st and but, uh, June 1st. The other DC sets are coming out in June. The other DC uh, and Marvel. While okay. supplies last. So that's the key thing there. While supplies last. So you got to go early because I know a lot of people are going to want I wanna, uh, this minifigure. What, um, what I want to do is build an An Anacondri mech army. Cool. Oh, yeah. Those are the new uh, Ninjago, right? Yeah. All right. 
I'm so excited they're putting Deathstroke in a set. He's my favorite villain. Oh, cool, yes. A, um, a, a.k.a. AKA Slade. Slade. Slade Wilson. Right. Yeah, right. Also Slade. And a Doctor Who set. I love Doctor uh, Who. I know. That one would be phenomenal. Good night, Eddie Norlander. Good night, Eddie. Wait, you don't sleep? Eddie doesn't sleep. What are you it's Sweden. He has to sleep now. Oh. Oh, it's Sweden. Um. Other other news. We Bye, have, Bricks. Bye, Bricks. Right. Other news. Um, I hope you feel better. The yellow, the small yellow ripping of the chest has reached ten thousand views. Oh, and that's Ten thousand cool. uh, supporters. So how big is this gonna be? It's a miniature one. Because um, it's huge. It's the art of bricks. Yeah. Okay, but do you want that really? Do you want something that's like chess ruby here? Anything for Lego ideas, I'll probably get since I'm kind of. But I think Lego should learn more from its fans. It's like we don't want, we want like. I don't think like the process Lego ideas. I think we should do less. Like if like if it gets ten thousand supporters like very fast, I think they should do it automatically. Well, like, it's also more process. I think ten thousand is just. I know, but the assault on uh, Wayne Manor, I want that set so bad. Yeah. So I guess bad. they can't do the big set. Yeah, because the cost. It's to do the big one. It won't be very cost effective, like, right? Even the, the Ghostbuster um, headquarters, headquarters, the big one. We so they like the small sets. Whenever you see something on Lego Ideas with a small version. There was actually one that was uh, being shown at the Philly Brick Fest. It's the Polar Bear Hunt. But the bottom is actually all trans clear blue, and you can see this polar bear... Um, oh. being hunted by little by, by mini things, right? But it's very cool because you get that scope that he's underwater and all the ice. But it's a very oh. tiny. Like it's well, one of my favorite mocks at Philly Brickfest was the Voldemort Harry Potter one. Yeah, that was so very. What good. it was was a mosaic of Harry Potter. Harry Potter when you were standing on this. Yeah, place. I saw it online. Uh, no, I saw it on the Brick it. Show. It's yeah. Nice. And what they used were uh, cheese, cheese, the cheese wedges. But how do you even do that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you even do that? It's amazing. I guess you have to do it this way first. Yeah. Well, you would just have to know how to make it with tiles, and then just use cheese wedges. The lighting, and the lighting too. Mm hmm. So that was cool. Um. Anything else? Do you guys have any other news? Any Lego news? Because we are going to go to Toys R Us tomorrow. We're, we're about to sign out soon. Oh, Adam Spong just. I don't. Uh, Adam? I um. Where's Adam? I don't. I don't have any. I don't have any. Um. Adam, your mom just. Uh, I think she subscribed to my channel. Oh yes, yes. Trick life, and she she wrote yeah. in the comments. Hi, I'm Adam. Mom. <laughs> Adam just showed me how to use uh, the internet. On the comments, Dave Frost actually has a comment. Uh, question for Dave's phone. No, for Adam's phone. He didn't write it down. Okay. Bye, Marty Garman. I, 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 I have a question. Was... I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, uh, that's what Dave Frost said. Oh. Wait, um. 403, the Death Star, Final Battle. What, what you... is the question? Oh, yeah, that's a play set. Oh, okay. When is that coming out? That's coming out in the summer. Yep. What? You, um, you were talking about the Star Wars before. Yes. Is it already released? No. Oh, okay. How do you know the secret? Everyone knows that. Um. Oh, and one, one cool thing too is we're going to uh, Tarmentulus. Yeah. I got. I got. Um. I got free. Um. Within the last week in Lego, I got free minifigures. How did you get free? How'd you get that? I'm all about free. Um. He's a wizard. We um we had um we had our we had our we had um 
um, we had our leg meeting. Oh, oh no. cool! Yeah, and I want those moths by those moths, the, the creators. The creators, they're the the lugs, the Philadelphia lugs, the uh, colonial was, lug, uh, pen lug, pen lug, Seattle uh, city lug. Oh my god! Oh, like mind blowing, amazing. Two was great as well. Two was great. This is my favorite one that I found in those bags. Oh, cool. Shredder. Oh, Linter. Shredder. Shredder. Sorry. We said that before, too. I think I got it wrong. Linter is the rat. Linter is the rat. Yes, you're right. You're right. Oh, he's so handsome. What's that? Um, Long I got all three minifigures from the Shredder Dragon Bike. Okay. What is this? All right, guys, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start signing out. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Today was break. a special edition. Yes. Two hours long. Almost. Today was a longer edition because we missed last week. There were lots oh, of things to catch up on. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. But, uh, please stay tuned. I um. Big B break. No, it's it's 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, well, APM is time. And it's no, no one I am, only tone. I um, I just, I just like to say, everybody in the comments, um, um, everybody in the comment, I hope to, I hope to see you in the comment section, in the um, in the live chat for the Saturn. Where we're not, everybody. Um, um, for the Saturn night. So it looks like this Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is kind of meshing. So probably next week, next Saturday, we'll be back for Full of Bricks, another Full of Bricks episode. Well, I'll put the word probably there, just as a... Probably. probably. Uh, check Instagram. I usually post it on Instagram Saturday morning with a little oh. countdown. And we'll see you guys next week. Next weekend is Mother's Day, so all you all, don't forget your Happy mama. Mother's Day. I'll be at Comic-Con. Thanks, thanks we for coming. Want, we, want, <laughs> we don't want Lego. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for coming, Adam. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, join. You should, Bye. um, um. Okay, you do want Lego. I have a, um, I have a suggestion. Oh, um, that's you, the um, 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 you should open a P.O. box so people can send you fan mail. Oh. It's okay. We're shy. We're shy. Like a really shy. Bye, Get some weird stuff in fan mail. <laughs>